Okay, let's talk about the prebind matrix in the skin clusters. Uh, before, in the other video, we talked about how matrix multiplication can invert or can add one transform on top of the other. So in this uh, example, we're going to see that the skin cluster or the linear skinning, it's very similar to matrix multiplication. If Indeed, it's kind of the, the same thing. So you take one uh, matrix, that is the transform of your uh, joint, and you multiply the uh, vertex positions of this uh, uh, object with the uh, transform of your joint. So you get this uh, effects of deformation. And of course, it has some like weight, weight, uh, normalized weights and things like that that uh, affects how it's, it's uh, deformed the object. But the base is the same. So here on this scene, I have um, a very simple setup where I have this cube with some subdivisions and a skin cluster, very simple. Two joints that will affect the, um, the skin cluster that we have, very simple. And I created these two locators that are exactly in the same position of the joints. That's important because you will see in, in, a, in a second what I mean with that. So here um, on the skin cluster, we can see that the wall matrix of the joints are connected to the matrix input here. And this is an input array. And we have the index 0, index 1. So the joint 2, it's going to index 0. And the joint 1, it's going to the index uh, 1. So that's important to remember. We need to keep this in, in mind. Or normally, you do this with the scripts and things, so it can be uh, more automatized. So, here, what we want to look is for the pre-bind matrix. So if I type like this, of course, it's not going to show anything because I don't see all the attributes. So there's a big list of all the attributes that you can plug and so on. So we're going to look for the pre-bind matrix here. So this is a pre-bind matrix. If I clear here, um, yeah, it's here on the top. So we can see here more easily. So basically, what I can do is take this and I'm gonna take this uh, this locator. This is um, okay. Let me let me be sure. This is one. This is going with uh, two with two, one with one. Yeah. So we have this. Okay. Great. So now um, I'm just gonna take the wall inverse matrix and connect it to the. Um, we say this is the input zero and same thing. Wall inverse matrix. We're going to connect it here. So basically now, I can offset this. So look that. Because it's inverse, so if I move this together with this, it's going to reset the value. So that's important. Because we can do these kind of games when we do the tweaks on the face, the, this kind of in soft image, we call it Doritos, because it was a famous uh, like a block that used the shape of the control as a triangle that looked like a Dorito, so so we call it Doritos. But it's what it's doing, it's inverting this. So if we move this and this together, it's gonna be the offset. And if I parent this to this, like this, now I can move freely the joint and only when the child is offset, it's gonna get the offset. So that's interesting. And uh, if you want to play a little bit more, you can take, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cut the hierarchy here. So now this is inverting, this is not moving. So if I reset this one, it's gonna reset there. If I reset this one, reset everything. So it's kind of funny, the effect that you get. And of course you can move both together and you don't get any movement. Uh, if we do the, the inverse, uh, sorry, inverse, well, the regular matrix, you're gonna go, uh, get the inverse uh, results. So in this case, I'm just gonna take the wall matrix, plug it here. So now it's this plus this. So you have an addition. So you have this here. Now this is gonna be like a regular thing, you see? And this is gonna be adding one to another. And of course, uh, the pre-bind matrix, uh, you, we didn't see the value here at the beginning, but it has some value that the value is the original position that you set. So it stores this value as saying, okay, this is the rest of the position, don't add any offset. So that's the reason because I added here 
the locator in the same position because at the beginning I wanted to have the same value when I plug it so it doesn't jump but yeah so that's it so you can use the inverse matrix multiplication that's a similar approach here to reset your skin cluster or to reset your deformation and that's important because not only skin clusters has this uh, pre matrix but other deformers does have this one and you can take advantage of this in a many many situations while you are rigging okay so that's it for this video i hope it's useful and instructive and see you in the next one